Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. Um, today we're going to go a little bit old school. Now, maybe you guys have one of these older iPads lying around. This one here uses the lightning adapter or lightning cable. I know a lot of the newer iPads right now are converting to the USB-C. So this one uh, is the older iPad Pro model. I think this is the second gen. But did you know that you can hardwire your iPad to a hardline connection and I'll show you how to do that today. Um, first you're gonna have to do a couple things though so uh, I'm gonna show you that we have internet right now so I'm gonna turn on my Wi-Fi and let's just visit a random website. Let's go to Yahoo seems to be the website I go to just for general stuff. So right now I'm on I'm I've got the internet running if I happen to disable the internet and then I'm gonna to try to reload the page. It should give me the error message that I don't have any kind of signal. Okay, so while it's waiting for that to show, what you'll need is a couple things. Well, more than a couple, but I'll tell you what you need. So these are the uh, camera adapters, lightning to camera adapters that you get from Apple. Uh, you can get them from Amazon for like 10 to 15 bucks, maybe sometimes 20 bucks. Um, so they come in two different forms. You can have kind of the more streamlined version, which is the camera adapter to lightning. Or this one here uh, has the ability to charge while you're using your camera adapter. This is probably the more readily available. It might be like 30 bucks. But again, this is the lightning uh, connector on this iPad. Okay, so just for ease, we'll use the, this one here. So you'll have you'll need one of these. Also, you'll need... I got this actually from my Nintendo Switch because, you know, the Switch, the older Switch, doesn't have a built-in Ethernet uh, port. So this is a Ethernet uh, to USB. So I got that from the Nintendo Switch. It also works for the Nintendo Wii. I think I actually got it for the Wii and then I used it on the Switch. Then you'll need a powered, you need a powered USB hub, okay? So it doesn't matter what brand you have. It could be USB 3.0. This is a 2.0. 3.0 will work as well. But it needs to be powered. Because if you try to plug it in with that power, it's going to give you an error message. So you need to have it powered. This is what powers the whole thing. Okay. And then to connect it all that together, you'll need just kind of your uh, standard printer or USB cable. Uh, and that's what you need. So let's go ahead and get it all together. You can see right now I don't have any internet right now. Okay, so let's get it all uh, connected. Um, first, go ahead and take the USB, your printer cable, and plug that into the back of the hub. Okay, this port here. Okay, that goes right there. Plug that right in. Okay. Again, you need it powered, so it has to have some type of power going to it. And then this guy here will go to the lightning adapter. So here's the camera, the lightning adapter here. You can see the camera logo there, icon. And then you're going to plug the Ethernet to USB into one of these available ports. Okay, let's just say right there. Any, any one of them will work. Now, of course, you got to have a wired connection somewhere. So here's my wired Ethernet cable. So I'm going to plug it into that. What's cool about this guy here, this again, this is, I bought it for the original Nintendo Wii. It actually lights up to tell me that there's a signal coming in. So until I plug it in, you won't see a blue light flash. But when you see that flash, uh, you'll know it's working. Okay, so um, finally, you're going to have to power this on. So again, you need that powered hub to get it all working. So I'm going to plug it into a power source. Okay. So my light is on here, it's all powered connected. I've got that connected to the back that goes to this lightning cable. And I'll show you some cool things you can do if you have this kind of connector set. Then finally, the lightning adapter goes into your iPad, okay? So once I plug that in, you can see that I've got this flashing blue light. So it means it's establishing a connection. Okay, that's good. 
Now, one thing you can also check is if you go to your settings on your iPad, you're going to have an option here that says Ethernet. Okay. If I take it off, it's going to disappear. But when I plug it back in, you're going to see it says Ethernet. So that's when you know that you've got a wired connection. Okay. Now, let's make sure that we have a connection. I'm going to go ahead and hit that refresh button on my iPad. And voila. See, you can tell my Wi-Fi is off. And I'm running everything through this kind of setup here, okay? All right. Well, if you found this video helpful, if you have an older iPad that's lying around that has the lightning connector and um, you're wondering if you're able to do a hardwired connection to your Ethernet, you can. So if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. And uh, appreciate all the support as I grow this channel. So with all that said and done, take care of yourself and each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Again, it's down, does tech stuff. Take care.